Assalamualaikum warahmatullahi wabarakatuh and a very good morning. So previously we have learned about the um what we call the indexing table. So the word indexing itself, the definition of indexing is the mental process of selecting the filing segment and then you divide the filing segment into filing units before you determine the order of the filing units okay so we have learned about this one from the rule one until rule eight so now you have another thing that you need to uh, learn uh, uh which is the cross referencing okay so in cross referencing just like the indexing table you need to know that you are going to learn about the personal names and as well as the business name. So, for the personal name, you have three. You need to know about the unusual names. The second one is hyphenated names. And the third one is alternate names. And next, in the business names, you need to know the compound names and abbreviation and acronyms the third one is hyphenated names and number four is division and subsidiaries and lastly is change name okay so now we are going to proceed uh, to the personal name again we have three types of personal name in cross referencing okay so the first one we are going to learn about the unusual names so what is unusual name so when determining the surname is difficult use the last name written as the key unit on the original record so you need to prepare a cross reference with the first name written as the key unit for example mr allen Todd. Okay, before this, you have learned that Mr. Allen Todd as a filing segment. So, what you should do now, you need to divide the filing segment into filing unit. So, you're going to have three filing unit. And then, you need to determine the order of the filing unit. So, Mr. Allen Todd, when you change to the indexing, it will be Todd, Allen and Mr. But, for the cross-reference, you need to have this kind of table. So, the first table, you need to put the original the cross reference and the cross reference and mr allen ted when you index the name you need to put thought allen mr can you uh, you can see this thought allen mr in the original and then c thought allen mr so in this part when you uh, take note about the word c you need to copy back from the original again Thought Alan Mister, this is from the filing segment after we have indexed the name. And then C Thought Alan Mister, we copy back the original. And then what you should put here in the cross reference is you copy back the question. So Alan Thought, but again, when you have the title, the title must be the last unit. Oh. Sorry, okay, so again, this is uh, what we call a clear, a clear picture. When you have a title, put it as a last unit. Okay, so again, the first name uh, as a key unit and at the word C, you need to repeat the same as original. The same as original is the name Mr. Allen Ted that we have in that. So now, we're going to learn the second uh, type of personal name. So, the second type of personal name is a hyphenated names. Again, uh, you have learned when you have hyphen, you need to close up as one unit. So, uh, usually the hyphenated names is used by a married woman. Okay, so for example, is Terry Palmer Green. Okay, so now Terry Palmer Green is a filing segment. Now you can see that is a hy hyphen there. So when you have a hyphen, you need to close out Palmer Green as one unit. So you're going to have two filing unit. Okay, so the key unit is Palmer Green and the second unit is Terry. 
So this is the table for the cross reference. Okay, so it will be Palmer Green. You can see here we need to put uh, the Terry Palmer Green after we index, we need to put it in, in the original table. So Palmer Green Terry. And then again, C, you copy back from the original. So how about in the cross reference? Okay, now please take a look. Terry Palmer Green. You have one, two, three. So when in uh when you do the cross reference, you need to use this concept. Green will be the key unit. Terry, second unit, and Palmer, the third unit. So now you can see here green, Terry, Palmer. Okay, this is only happen for the hyphenated names, which is for married woman. Okay, again, so again, green will be the key unit. Terry will be the second unit and Palmer will be the third unit. Okay, this one is for the cross reference. But again, in original, you need to index, uh, index the personal name. And when you have hyphen, again, you need to close up. Next one, uh, the last one in personal name is what we call alternate names. Okay. Alternate names uh, is a person is known by more than one name. So, for example, Sarah Stakinski. So, uh, Sarah Stakinski is doing business as a Sarah Star. Okay, so what you should do? Okay, so now the original... Uh, you need to put the business name. So the business name is Sarah Star, but when you index, it will be Star Sarah. Why? Because this is a part of the personal name. So uh, some of the business, they are using their personal name, okay, for their business. And again, C Star Sarah, you need to copy by in the original. And how about this one? Okay, Sarah Stakinski, uh, Sarah Stakinski. Again, this is personal name. So when you index this personal name, it will be Stakinski Sarah. Okay. So again, uh, this is how you are going to convert this one. So next, we have completed all the three personal name so now we are going to proceed for the business name again when you have learned in the indexing table for the business name you need to index as written so the first one in business name you are going to learn about the compound names so when a business name includes two or more individual surnames, I prepare a cross-reference for each surname other than the first. For example, okay, this is the business name, but you have three personal names here. So the first one is more, Rose, and also Sullivan. So what you should do again for in uh, for the original, when you index the business name, you need to index as written. So you again you copy back more. Rose and Sullivan Atonis. The same thing goes to the uh, C. Okay, C, more Rose and Sullivan Atonis. You copy back uh, the uh, C as the original. How about in the cross reference part for this one? Okay, for this one, you need to arrange uh, according to the uh, personal name. Okay, so you need to copy. Sullivan will be the key unit. More will be the second unit and rules will be the third unit. So, Sullivan, more and rules at Okay. So, again, this one for business name in the assets return. At the word C, you need to copy back from the original. And this one, you need to arrange according to the personal name. Again, why? Because we have the personal name in a business name. Next, uh, business name is you are going to learn about the abbreviation and acronyms. Okay, so when a business is commonly known by an abbreviation or acronym, a cross-reference is prepared for the full name. 
For example, IBM is the uh, abbreviation, but the full name for IBM actually is the International Business Machine Corporation. So when you, when you have the what we call the uh, cross reference, you need to put the abbreviation in the original C original, which is IBM, and then in the cross reference, you need to put the full name for the uh, business name. Okay, so you need to write full name for abbreviation or for the acronym. Next, we are going to learn uh, about the hyphenated names. Again, in the personal name, you also have hyphenated names. And again, when you have a hyphen, you need to close up. So what happens when you have hyphenated names in business name? So, in the uh, just like in the personal name, business surname with hyphen need to be cross-referenced for each surname combination. For example, Simpson Brown Trading Co. So, when you have hyphen, you need to close up for this one. So, this is, uh, what, your, uh, this is what your answer will look like. So, for the original, you in, uh, for the business name, again, you need to index as written. So, you're going to have one, two, three. Simpson Brown, okay, as the key unit, trading, and also company. C, copy back from the original. So, what, uh, what about this one? In the cross reference, you need to switch uh, the Brown and the Simpson. Okay, you need just to switch a Brown and the Simpson. Okay. Switch business surname and close up. Why you need to close up? Because we still have the hyphenated. Next business name, we are going to learn about division and subsidiaries. So, what is division and subsidiaries? When one company is a subsidiary or division of a branch uh, of another company, the name appearing on the letterhead of the branch or subsidiary is the one indexed in the original record. For example, one stop mortgage is a division of National Bangkok. Okay, when you can see this one, which one is the main company, which one is the uh, sub-company. So, uh, we can see that National Bangkok is the uh, main company. So, the sub-company is One Stop Mortgage. So, when you have this one, One Stop Mortgage, which is uh, a sub-company of the National Bangkok, must be put in the original. So, C, one stop mortgage. So, the mother or the main company, okay, will be put in the cross reference. It's just an example like the mother and the son. Okay, if you have a son and a mother, you need to put the son in the original and you put the mother in the cross reference. Okay. So, again, the main company will be in the cross reference. Next, what is the business name? We are going to learn about the change names. Okay. So, sometimes a company may change its name. So, record must then be changed to indicate the name change and to ensure that the new name will be used for the wrong purposes. For example, Paragon Cable changed its name to AT&T Cable Services. So, when you see this one, Para, uh, Paragon Cable is the previous name or the old name of this company. So, the new name of this company is AT&T Cable Services. So, when you have this type of question, you need to put the new name in the original. Okay, so the new name which is AT&T, uh, you have a symbol there, a symbol N, you need to spell out and then... Uh, for the word C, you need to copy back from the original. So, the cross-reference, you need to put the old name of that company. Okay, or previous name of the company. Okay, that's all for your cross-referencing. So, I have a prepared a notes and also exercise for you to do for your cross-reference. Thank you.